Hey guys, this is Matt with Grizzly Outdoors. I've had a lot of questions on different belt loop options, so I'm going to run a few videos uh, showing the different belt loops in detail and up close uh, for what we've got. First one will be the uh, Kydex belt loop. Uh, this one, for example, is on the BK2. Uh, pretty simple design. It just uh, used the uh, 0 0.093 thick Kydex, is, which is basically the thickest, not the thickest, but it's the thickest Kydex you can get consistently in all the most of the colors. Uh, the only uh, time that I can't get that color or that thickness is when I use like a camo color, but then I will use this contrasting black in the thicker kydex on the back of a sheath. It's an example of that. This is the 08 thousandths in the camo, and then on the back is the 93 thousandths black. So it's a contrasting color, and this is normally up against your body anyway, so you don't see it. But uh, that's the thicker stuff. But anyway, uh, the belt loop, um, they generally all run about two inches from here to here, so you get a little more than two inches in there. I can make them smaller if needed, but that's just kind of the average. Again, they're all handmade, so they, they vary slightly, but you'll be able to get a two inch belt in here. And typically, like I said, from this tip to here is where I try to do two inches, so you can slide this in, take your belt in, a two inch belt in if you want, and then it'll fit in there. Um, if you only run an inch and a half or something, I can make this smaller. Um, that's no big deal. And also in the notes, if you make an order, you can put in the uh, in the bottom, like the comment section on your uh, when you go to check out. You know, you can say how high you want this. For instance, uh, this is about normal. Where I run it is around where the screw is, where I normally bend it over. So if you don't say anything, that's about where it'll get. If you want it up higher, you know, if you want this bend to be up higher, so the um, handle is lower to your belt, you know, just say that and I can extend this higher, which is no big deal. But, uh, this is a good option. Uh, this is what I run right now, and I actually run it with a um, two ways, and I'll, I can show you part of it here. I don't have the whole setup right here with me. I think I can. Sure, figures that I'm doing a video, I can't find the piece. Anyway, these are these are close, but this isn't what I use. Um, I run this because I can keep this in my pack and I can quickly throw this on my belt, and it's pretty comfortable on my custom knife. But what I've also got is a leather loop, and this isn't on the website yet, it'll probably be on soon. I've got a, um, a rectangle ring without this centerpiece in it, and then a leather belt loop on that. So all I gotta do is take it, and this one probably oh, that might fit here just for example purposes. If the leather loop can sit down here if I want to store it that way, or it would have this dangler with a leather loop on it, so I can run the same sheath that I use normally with the dangler. So when I'm wearing my pack, that's the only downside to these. You either have to run this on your pack strap or your uh, waist strap on your pack, which it works depending on the pack strap. Or what I'll do is put this dangler with a leather loop up here on my belt and then your pack strap would fit here and you don't uh, you don't have a knife handle between your pack strap. But that is not on the website yet. Uh, so if somebody wants custom, I do have some of the material to do that. We're kind of just getting into that, experimenting in the, um, in the process of um, demoing that out. But that makes this sheath versatile, kind of like a, um, a drop leg almost. So you can use it like this the way it sits and when you don't have a pack on this is a great way to carry. Especially if you wear like a sidearm you don't have to take your belt on and off. You can just slide this over your belt or your pack strap or your waist strap on your pack. So this is the way I run it right now on my custom and then with this adapter with a leather belt loop up here for for changing it when I need to. But uh, I'll do that video later. But anyway this is the close-up of the Kydex belt loop. I do a little return bend on it that allows this to sit square. Otherwise, if you just put a loop on here, this would sit at an angle and it's just kind of awkward on your belt. This helps it to sit square. And then on all my sheaths now, I am adding the thumb brake where I can. Uh, there's a couple models that I can't, like with the fold over design and stuff, but any, any sheath that I can, I add the thumb, the thumb brake to. And retention on these, you're not gonna you shake these as hard as you want, they're not gonna fall out, but yet you snap them loose. There's no blade rubs, so 
There's some sheath models that have a little blade rub in the back up here, but not on the cutting edge. It's just the way that retention works best, uh, especially with some of the rubber handled knives. You can't put all the retention in the rubber part up here. It's just if it gets wet, it slips right out, or if it's dry, it's really, really sticky. So I have to kind of split the retention between the two. But uh, that works really nice. Nice snap in there, but yeah, easy in and out. So that's one thing I love about these Kydex versus the factory sheets. So I'll just give you guys a close look of this. Again, this is molded into the back piece. And this is our Kydex belt loop. And again, this is what you'll get standard. Something similar to this in this range. If you just order it straight off the website. Uh, if you want something custom height, lower, higher, just put it in the comments and we can accommodate that. Like I said, they're all handmade one at a time, so none of them are 100% exactly the same. They're all close, but uh, that allows us to uh, customize. And we do a lot of customizing off stuff off the website. People just call us and or email us or put a note in the thing and say they want it this way or that. It works pretty good. All right. Hopefully you guys have seen enough here drain hole in the bottom. Uh, retail on this sheath here is 53. It comes with a 5 16 Ranger steel. It's a ferro CM rod. It's I believe a three... It's a three and a quarter inch rod so you've got about two and three quarters sticking out past the handle. The holder, the Kydex belt loop. The Kydex belt loop is a little more expensive than the leather just because it takes more material. Um, and then I can't use that material for other stuff. It just kind of gets cut off. So you get the sheath, the belt loop, and the fire steel for 53, which isn't a bad price. A lot of guys are selling just the shell, no fire steel, no belt loop for 25 to 30 bucks. So if you think of that, a good fire steel, these are great fire steels. Um, about the best I can get in bulk for the price. Um, you're probably gonna spend about 20 bucks just for a fire steel, let alone the holder, so. And then trying to find, you know, if you didn't have a belt loop, you throw a tech lock on, that's another 15 bucks. So belt loop options, something that's usable, uh, it's really not a bad price. I've been trying to keep them as low as I can for price, but you figure labor on something like this and everything else, you know, you got to make something too. So can't do them for free. And try to get them the best quality possible here. Buff everything. All the fire steel holders are made one at a time, same with the little loops. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, enough rambling here I think. Hopefully this shows the Kydex belt loop enough. Uh, next I'll probably do the leather loop. And I got the dangler loop and then I'm working on this, uh, not with this specific tab, but the other adapter possibly to go on the website later on. And then I can go over tech locks and stuff too, just figure I cover all those. So everyone has their own video and you guys can just get a good chance to look at these up close and make a good decision. Um, stuff like this, I can add molly locks to these. Uh, molly locks with the fire steel, I just mount the molly lock on the back and put spacers. Those work really well. Uh, the only downside to a molly lock is to fit it, get it to fit molly on some of these smaller knives, you gotta expand it. So you gain about a half inch on the sheath for, for width. But. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like these videos. And any suggestions on videos, I'm looking at doing some, uh, actually taking the camera with me outdoors now. Um, and some gun videos coming up. So keep tuned for that, and thanks for watching guys. Have a good afternoon.